Welcome to VTeach. In this section, I am going to discuss about diode resistance. Either can we find the resistance in diode? The answer is yes. We can find out the resistance in diodes. Two types of the resistance we can find out. That is the static resistance and another one is the dynamic resistance. The dynamic name itself it is telling that by changing the voltage, by changing the current, we can get the some change in resistance. That resistance is called as a dynamic resistance. And as well as the static resistance means it is a fixed resistance, which is depends upon the only voltage and current. Generally, from the Ohm's law, V equal to I or R equal to V by I from Ohm's law. So, V means it is a voltage and I means it is a current. Now, we are going to see that is it possible to get such a type of the resistance in the diode. Okay, the diode conducts in forward bias and in reverse bias conduction no current flows through it. The diode is conducting in forward bias, in the reverse bias the diode is not conducting. Diode is not conducting means it is not allowing the any electrons from the n-type semiconductor material to p-type semiconductor material. So, there we can say that it is having the large resistance in the reverse bias. In the forward bias it is having the less resistance. The reason is that it is allowing the some current. The forward resistance is small in comparison with the reverse resistance because in the reverse bias no electrons will be flowing. So that is why it is having the high resistance. In the reverse bias what resistance we are getting we are saying that it is a reverse resistance. In the forward bias what resistance we are getting we are saying that it is a forward resistance. In the forward resistance in the forward bias some of the electrons are moving from the one place to other place n type to p type. So that is why we are saying that in the forward bias we are having the resistance but it is a less resistance compared to the reverse reverse bias. No electron will be moved in the reverse bias. Now, if you are coming for the forward bias, there only we are going to find out the resistance because in the reverse bias, no electron is moving. So, that is why we are saying that it is a large resistance. Theoretically, we are saying that it is a open circuit. So, that is why it is an infinity. No current is flowing means it is an open circuit, equating with the open circuit. If you are coming for the forward resistance, they are divided as the two categories that is the DC resistance and AC resistance. DC resistance is also called as a static resistance and AC resistance is also called as a dynamic resistance. AC resistance means the resistance which is changing with respect to change in the voltage and change in the current. That means change, changing with respect to the time. If you are coming for the DC, it is purely depends upon the fixed voltage and fixed current. So, now we can see that the resistance of the diode. So, we know that V i characteristics of the diode and this is the voltage and this is the current. In the forward bias, whenever the input voltage is the greater than the cut-in voltage, then the diode is entering into the forward bias. There we are getting like this. So, at this point, how much of the voltage, how much of the current we are getting, this is called as a resistance now. Resistance. Like that in the reverse bias also we are getting the some resistance. But it is a very large compared to the forward bias resistance. You can see in the diagram itself. Now, we will see the what is the static resistance and what is the dynamic resistance? Static resistance means DC resistance. We will see that how we can get the DC resistance. So, the static resistance means it is a ratio of voltage to current at any point on the VI characteristics. It is a fixed one, fixed voltage and fixed current. You can see, for example, you can see here it is a fixed voltage if you have, somewhere you will get the fixed current. So, now this is what? This is the resistance that too it is a fixed resistance that we are saying that it is a static resistance. We will get the static resistance whenever the voltage and currents both are, it is in static. So, now we are coming for the dynamic resistance which is very difficult and which is not a fixed. It is going to be changed with respect to change in the current in voltage. It is defined for AC signals applied to the diode. It is defined as the ratio of change in voltage across the diode to the change in current. So, simply I can say that if the diode is connected to the DC supply then what the resistance we are getting that is a DC resistance. If the diode is connected to the AC supply then what the resistance we are getting it is a AC resistance. We know that AC means it is a alternating current. The current is not fixed one. Whenever the current and voltage which is changing according to that the resistance will be changed. That we are going to see in this dynamic resistance. So, dynamic resistance means it is denoted by the small r d and as well as the and it is denoted by the r s. The Static resistance is denoted by the RS and some textbook they mention that capital R D or capital R S that is depends upon the textbooks and if you are coming for the dynamic resistance always it is denoted by the small r. Small r indicates it is a AC, capital R indicates it is a DC. They may take it is a suffix is a D or suffix is S whatever it may be but if you are coming for the R D that is a dynamic resistance equal to depends upon the change in voltage and change in current. See it is a ratio of change in voltage and change in current that is, is denoted by the del V by del I. 
the expression for the diode current and we know that this is the general expression for the forward bias diode current the dc and ac resistance both we are getting whenever the diode is in the forward bias only so here this is the general current equation for the diode that is i equal to i naught into exponential of v by eta vt minus 1 now if a differentiating with respect to the voltage for the above equation then d i by d v equal to d by d v i naught exponential of v n t v t minus i naught okay now we will see that what is the d i by d v you can see that d i by d v generally if it is a d v by d a means it is a r d so here it is a d i by d v so that's why i taken it is a 1 by r d then you can see that next 1 by r d equal to i naught into exponential of v by n t into 1 by eta v t if you have done the derivation to the this equation okay now finally we are having this is rd rd equal to what will happen if you are changing this one then rd equal to eta vt by i naught into exponential of v by eta vt so now equation one so we can see that so this is the equation one that is the general current equation is the equation number one and differentiating equation is the equation number two so equation one can be written as now you can see that equation one can be written as i equal to i naught into exponential v by eta into vt minus one you can see that i equal to i naught into exponential of v by eta eta vt minus i naught i equal to then this i naught if i am taking the left side then i plus i naught equal to i naught into exponential of v by eta vt so we know that and the forward bias so what is the i naught means it is a reverse saturation current but in the forward bias due to the minority charge carriers what the current we are getting it is a less amount of the current we can neglect it so based on that for the forward bias diode i is that is forward bias current i naught means it is a reverse saturation current but reverse saturation current is the very less compared to the forward bias current so that's why we are neglecting the i naught so neglecting the i naught then we will get that i equal to i naught into exponential of v eta vt by substituting the equation 4 this equation 4 so this is the equation 3 then we will get r d equal to eta vt by i because this is going to be get the cancel out so this is about the resistances so finally in the resistance means diode is having some resistance whenever it is connected to the ac supply and dc supply if you are connected to the dc supply at the time the resistance what we are getting that is a dc resistance if you are connected the ac supply to the diode at the time what the resistance we are getting it is a ac resistance ac resistance means it is a dynamic resistance dc resistance means it is a static resistance dc resistance is purely depends upon the voltage voltage and current you can see here it is a rs equal to v by i it is a fixed one if you are coming for the dynamic resistance this is the answer for the dynamic resistance rd equal to eta into vt by i vt means it is a thermal voltage this is also very easy for remember r equal to v by i that means r equal to voltage by current so here the voltage is a thermal voltage not a applied voltage if you are coming for the dc the voltage means it is a applied voltage by current if you are coming for here it is a vt that is a thermal voltage and as well as i means it is a current and eta means which is depends upon the material thank you